All right, well, I'm working with the plant battery again. I've been doing a lot of different things, and uh, tonight I just have some different plants, and I just have a, a little piece of magnesium ribbon and a little piece of uh, copper wire in that plant. And it, it does about the same thing, but I've got this hooked up to an exciter that's actually being run of an energy in a supercapacitor. But I wanted to show you this effect tonight that I thought was rather interesting. Um, the plants are hot, and I find this very interesting. And I've got a little copper wire here connecting two plants. And, of course, this plant's hot, too, because of the connection there. And, of course, this glass of water over here, I put this uh, thing in the water, it's hot. But watch this. If I take this wire out of here, it doesn't seem to affect much. This thing is still hot. And it makes me wonder if there is some sort of communication between plants. If uh, maybe on frequencies that we're not familiar with, the plants actually can communicate with one another. When I see this going on, and I see that if you have frequencies and resonance set up right, there's communication between uh, water-based elements. And uh, I just thought I would share this with people. that uh, I find this plant battery... Uh, thing to be very interesting and uh, Gina's working with the uh, soil content to see if the electrolyte could be stabilized to make it work and I just want to share something real quick over here is my other um, plant battery that's the philodendron and it's been running now for um, about three days and there's no sign of any major deterioration in the plant and I've pulled out the magnesium element in there and the copper and looked at those and they're fine too. They tarnish a little bit, but that's about it. I think every week or so, if you just pulled it out and scraped it off, it'd be fine. But um, it was this uh, phenomena here that I really wanted to share. This, um, this uh, sharing of the energy between plants that I just thought was very interesting. And that's uh, being driven by this Slayer exciter that's in uh, full operation. That's being driven by the energy out of that super cap. Uh, it's not being driven by the plant. Uh, the plant's just being uh, overexcited by this um, energy coming out of the super capacitor. But, you know, it is going. And that thing is receiving energy there. And this one over here is receiving the energy over here remotely just like a glass of water. Anyway, that's my show for tonight. That's the uh, extension of the plant battery. Um, this is a fascinating experiment series that I'm running here. I hope some other people can do it. Thanks for watching.